In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to define HTML5 video height and width. It's really simple. I'm going to show you step by step. We're getting started right now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and you like learning hacks and tricks and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. In the previous tutorial, we added a video to our site and embedded it using the HTML5 video player. And this is what it looks like here. It has a bunch of controls at the bottom. The code we used was simply the video tag with the controls parameter and the source code to an Amazon S3 video. This URL can go to any publicly accessible video online, even a video hosted on your own server, if you want to do that. In this video, we're going to add width and height parameters to allow us to adjust the size of this video. If we go back to the blog post, that's a link to in the description down below. We have an add height and width area. Let's just click into here, and we're just going to copy the width and the height, or you can copy the whole, um, the whole nine yards in this little text area if you want, but we're just going to add the width and the height because that's all we're trying to accomplish in this video because we already have the rest of the code. If you want to watch the original video where I show you how to create this one, click on the card above. So now we have width and height. We can adjust these to whatever we want, whatever makes sense for a video. Usually an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 is the most popular, which is the 1080p, 720p. Save it, and then come out here and refresh, and then our video size will adjust. And now our video, as you can see, is smaller. And if you don't add the width and the height, the video will just adjust its size to whatever space it's in. So if we put the video in the sidebar, it will just shrink down to what fits into the sidebar. So it's not like you have to have width and height, but if you do want to define it, that is how you do it. Just add the parameters in here, change the pixel amounts, and you might have to do a little trial and error to find the right one, or maybe you know the render size of your video, and that would be the amounts that you put in here or some ratio that is the same. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.